Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Connie here with Incredible Realty Group, and welcome to Friday Night Chill. So, it's Friday night, and I've got some things on my mind. Now, I realized that the last Friday night chill, I recorded my video and my audio was really low. And I decided not to take that video down. But if I seem like I'm yelling, it's because I do not want that to happen again. Because you know what? I, I'm, I'm trying, y'all. I mean, cut me some slack. I'm new to this. <laughs> so, get your favorite bevy. I have mine and what's in your cup is your business and what's in my cup is my business. But what do I want to talk about today? So let's talk about, mm, mm, mm. let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that have been in real estate, baby. Let's talk about, ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all, okay. So, ladies, <laughs> fellas, um, you know, it, when it gets late, I get a little on the silly side. I, I just, when I'm, I'm not tired, but it's dark and it's time to be like in the bed or on the sofa or something. But I'm here with you instead. But this is where I want to be on this evening. So, let's talk about what to do. If you lose your job while you're in the process of purchasing a home. Oh my God. First, don't panic. Don't panic. And notify your loan officer immediately. Even before you contact your mama. Now, I talked about this in my last video when I was talking about the Ten Commandments. Um, Thou shall not um, do these things while you're in the process of purchasing a home and applying for a mortgage. And this is just kind of an extended version of that because that's kind of what I feel like talking about because it happened to one of my clients. And it doesn't have to be devastating. Um, you can still move forward and purchase the home, but the actions you tape, take and the things that you do in the time in which you do them in is critical. It's essential. So... Some things are just out of our control, right? And we already talked about not quitting a job, leaving a job, going to uh, 1099 from W-2 or becoming self-employed, um, whatever type of income you have when you get pre-qualified, just stay with that, right? Not to say that some changes are not um, disruptive to the process, but... This is just one of those areas where you want to just kind of be real safe. But if there's a change that's necessary, just talk about it to your loan officer first. Okay, talk with me because, you know, I'm your agent. I'm everybody's favorite realtor cousin. My clients call me Cousin Connie and I need some new cousins. Don't you want to be my cousin? <laughs> um... Anyway, I had a flash of that that video clip with the the guy at the um, <laughs> Beyonce concert. Um, but as I was saying, there are some things that we cannot control, right? But notify your loan officer, contact your real estate agent, and we can help you come up with the best next steps. And I say we because we are a team, but your loan officer is going to be the driver in guiding you through what to do and what not to do. Um, the most important thing that you can do is to get another job immediately making about the same amount of money. So let's just say you're a W-2 employee and you're paid hourly. So you're W-2, you make $30 an hour and you get laid off. You lose your job. If at all possible, go out and find the closest job to what you had if not the same exact job making about the same exact amount of money as soon as possible don't go to a temp agency don't become a contractor don't decide oh i'm gonna start my own business if at all possible get another job immediately even i hate to say it employers plug your ears if it's not your forever job um get a job that you know 
will make do. Um, and hopefully, you know, it will be a good um, transition and you'll like it and you'll stay there. But if not, you need a job. That's the most important thing. I think what happens is people get paralyzed in fear. And when we're paralyzed in fear, it messes up our psyche, right? We're nervous. We are rushing. We're making mistakes. We're, you know, maybe your resume isn't buttoned up. Speaking of resumes, we all know that we should have our resumes buttoned up at all times, right? Don't wait until you lose your job, right, to be trying to figure out how to create your resume. We should always have our resumes on point, Right. So that if something happens, you are ready to go and you're not in that mode of panic and you can't even formulate a sentence. You know, it's devastating. You're upset. But also at the same time, there are things that will be disrupted in your life if you don't solve this situation as quickly as possible, expeditiously. So you want to be calm, cool, collected and the best way to handle challenges, roadblocks, situations, because life be out here lifing all the time. Um, And as long as we're alive, it be life. And so, you know, we got to just roll with it. But when you are prepared because you're ready, you handle things with ease and a lot less stress. Um, And it just makes the process not as overwhelming as it will be if you are not ready. Right. So sometimes when we are in panic mode, things shut down. Um, It's like having, you know, brain fog, writer's block, our emotions get the best of us and we're in panic mode. And now we're just willy nilly doing things and it's kind of sloppy or we're not putting our best foot forward, our best face forward. We're rushing to get our resume together. Or maybe we're like, I'm just not even going to send a cover letter. I'm going to send it because I need to hurry up and do this. But if you already have it ready. You know, all you got to do is go to your computer and go to that file folder where you keep all your stuff and you're ready. Maybe you need to make a couple of tweaks, freshen up some stuff. Um, or if you need professional guidance and support and you have the resources to hire someone or a firm or agency to help you or a recruiter, just as long as it's not a temp to perm type job, you want to get, you know, a exact same type of compensation that you were getting before um but have those people in your rolodex on speed dial right have them at the ready so that um you can probably get more immediate results right and you don't go through that kind of period where because time is of the essence right as far as like not losing the house that you're under contract in and if for some reason you do as devastating as that may be, it's not the end of the world because you still will qualify as soon as now you have employment. So I think everybody out here listening, watching this video, no matter whether you're in the process of buying a home or not, you're thinking about buying a home, there are some housekeeping things that we can do. I talked about things that we can be doing right now while we're in those kind of preliminary initial Um, stages and phases of the home buying process remember it starts with you making the decision that this is something you want to do and so there are things that you can do in the meantime because time is fleeting it is not our friend especially lately it just seems like time is just like going by at like triple speed so time will get away from you and then guess what you will not be prepared so purge, declutter, get rid of stuff, pare down, build your savings, build your nest egg, your emergency fund, get your um, finances and your administrative things, your professional career related, related things all buttoned up so that you don't have stressors that are coming at you that you're not able to navigate. So those are kind of like some homework things that you can be doing in addition to always having your resume and your cover letter on the ready, right? And then these other things that you can also be doing at the same time. So kind of to slow things down, because this is supposed to be chill Friday. I'm supposed to be like relaxed and leaning back in my squeaky chair. I'm sorry for squeaking. Um, Even though I told you it was none of your business, what was in my cup, this is fresh pressed pineapple turmeric 
ginger juice and it is bomb okay it's bomb get you some all right so quick slow recap if you lose your job while you're in the process of purchasing a home the first thing is not to panic the second thing is to notify your loan officer notify your real estate agent <laughs> celebrate apparently um and then be strategize on how you're going to replace that job as quickly as possible with the most similar job to what you had in pay structure and your hourly or salary rate that you were receiving because as long as there isn't a gap then you may just have to have pay stubs for your new job or an offer letter if it's a salary job different underwriters or maybe different lenders might handle it differently but it doesn't mean you no longer qualify so let's just say you you lost your job on the first right and your closing date is the 31st and by the fifth you have a new job you may be able to have two pay stubs or whatever it is they're going to require by the time you close or maybe now you have this condition on your financing that this is one thing that you have to now provide and do. And so just talk to your loan officer so that they can give you that guidance and tell you what it will take. Maybe um, you and your agent need to go to the seller and ask for a slight extension. Um, people are understanding. They may allow you a little extra time. Maybe you need an additional week. But don't just give up and feel like, oh, it's over and, you know, all is lost. Because um, they're are ways to keep things on track. Um, if you have any questions or if this has happened to you and you have some insight or wisdom that you want to share, please put it in the comments. I would love your feedback and love to hear um, both, you know, maybe the positive outcome and maybe the outcome that was not desirable and it was disappointing but you can always recover so just know that as well maybe even if you did lose that particular home you can always buy another one um hopefully all is not lost as far as like the deposits and things like that and the expenses that you've incurred and one other thing that i'll kind of leave this off with is if you hear whispers buzzing or if there's the rumors looming that layoffs are coming or if you're in the latter part of the year and this is kind of usually the season when your company is, has been known to lay people off, be open, honest, and transparent with your superiors at your place of employment and let them know that you are in the process of purchasing a home just to say hey guys you know I know everything is going great the company's doing great I'm doing great you're happy with my work and whatever it is you want to say um, but I wanted you to know that I'm in the process of purchasing a home and I know that sometimes things happen things that are unforeseen um, layoffs or anything like that but I wanted to put it out there because I have a lot on the line you know myself my family we have a lot on the line if something were to happen that um, related to my employment so I'm, I'm hoping that you know you will keep that in mind if for some reason something with the company changes I don't think it's a horrible idea to do that I don't know if you in, feel safe enough in your employment that you can have that conversation with someone because maybe if something is looming they will give you the time that you need and they won't like terminate you right you know then or within that time period that's before you close on your house Maybe they'll understanding and they'll give you some grace. Um, if you're in good graces um, at your job, you know, maybe they will accommodate that and understand that you could lose, you know, a substantial amount of money. Maybe your housing situation, it could be detrimental to your family. Um, so maybe if you feel like that would be appropriate in your workplace and you know your workplace, you know your supervisors and your superiors and your managers and all of that, your human race resources, you know the culture and how that place is. If you feel that that's a conversation that you can have, I would hope that, you know, as working adults, we can have these types of transact um, conversations with our employers. You know, I know sometimes that's not the case, but um, that's something that I probably personally would do is just share and say, hey, this is what I got going on in my life. And, you know, if anything's, you know, 
on the horizon, I, I would appreciate a heads up and, you know, let's have a conversation before it pretty much derails my entire life and my family. Um, and maybe they'll be understanding. So that's another thing that maybe you can try. But I think just across the board, being open, honest, transparent, and communicating that and any changes in your life that may happen that may um, interfere with the process. I hope you have a strong enough relationship with your real estate professional, your team that you built. Because remember, you build a team. I talked about this in the home buyer um, class, how you're building your team. You're surrounding yourself with people that you like and trust, right? We, we got to be here. We, we cousins remember um cousins that get along that we like I know you got them cousins that you you don't even want them coming to the house <laughs> but I'm not that cousin I'm the good cousin so have that relationship with the team that you decide to partner with for this huge milestone in your life so that they can advocate you that for you they can support you and they can be with you to guide you to help you navigate the process and any hiccups or challenges that may arise along the way all right guys so I think that's that's gonna kind of wrap up this Friday night chill um, conversation with Connie incredible realty group in the greater Charlotte metro area licensed in both North and South Carolina my South Carolina license is with Excel Realty and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, if you would like this video, and let me know if you want to be cousins. Hit me up in the DMs. You can call me. You can text me. Go to my website, ConnieWoodRealtor.com. And this is where I do my plug for my monthly home buyer class, which is every single month on the third Thursday at 7 p.m. via Zoom. And I also will stream it live right here on youtube yeah that's right and you can go to homebuyerclassnc.com to register i look forward to seeing you in my next class thank you for watching this video don't forget subscribe and like and i will see you in the next video bye guys